What's up guys? So today we're going to discuss the question, should you do a pre-listing presentation package for your sellers before you go to the listing appointment? And I'm going to give away three signed copies of my book, List to Last, and three signed copies of my book, Zero to Diamond. So welcome back to another video. I'm Ricky Carruth from Remix of Orange Beats and ZeroToDiamond.com. Zero to Diamond just happens to be the fastest growing real estate coaching company in the world right now. We're over 4,000 agents strong and growing. We have a lot of momentum and everything is free, 100% free. And our core principles value relationships over transactions and we really don't care if we lose a deal here and there it's going to happen we got to keep moving forward and go get five more deals in that same amount of time so this week on this channel is listing presentation how to win the listing presentation how to get that listing how to prove to the client that you are the best choice for the job and thursday it's going down live training me this channel I'm gonna be going through my entire listing presentation, everything I do, everything I say, what I'm trying to accomplish, the philosophy behind what I'm doing, and I'm gonna teach you everything that I do so that you can incorporate that into what you do to try to win your listings. So don't forget, Thursday, 4 p.m. Central, while I'm going live right here, there's a link in the description so you can get notified when that happens. We'll see you guys there. It's gonna be a live Q&A as well. So tune in and ask questions. That's what I'm here for. I wanna help you succeed. I'm not charging you a dime. So on the subject of listing presentations and how to win the listing appointment, I always get this question about the pre-listing package. Should you do a pre-listing package? Ricky, do you have a pre-listing package? Ricky, what do you do in terms of a pre-listing package? This is a really good question. And for those of you who don't know what a pre-listing package is, let me quickly explain. A pre-listing package is a package of documents that you send to your seller, your prospective seller, before the listing appointment. The package has a one-page resume, it has marketing information, it has uh, everything you're gonna do to help sell their property, it talks about commission structure, there's all kinds of information there and it's really designed to give the client a little bit of knowledge about you and what you do and kind of try to answer some of those questions that they may have in their mind before you get there to the listing appointment. So it kind of cuts time out of the listing appointment where you can, guys can just get right down to the nitty gritty. You know, do they want to sell, what price, all that good stuff. And hopefully through the pre-listing package, it will kind of show some professionalism and they will already kind of see you as their agent before you even get there. So as you can see, I know a little bit about the pre-listing package because a lot of coaches, they push the pre-listing package. They really want you to do the pre-listing package. They think that it you should do it religiously every single time. So fortunately, I actually had a coach that did this, that, that was part of their program. They wanted me to do the pre-listing package and I did it. I did it for a long time. Um, I got the packages together. I sent it to my sellers before the listing appointments and all that good stuff. So I don't do it anymore though. Okay, so why did I stop doing it and should you do it? I can really go either way on this. As you guys know, really to me, no answer is the wrong answer. You can go either way, pick one, go, and you can win. So it all kind of depends on how you feel about it and what you think. So when I give you my answer here, I want you to keep in mind that I'm not telling you that if you do one or don't do one, you're right or wrong. I think either way it goes, you win. You need to do what's comfortable, what you feel like is right, what you feel like is gonna service your clients the best and help grow those relationships. My experience with pre listing packages is this. After enough time went by and I started getting more and more listings, the pre-listing package part of my business started taking up way too much time. It started taking time away from prospecting. It started taking time away from my clients and, and things that I felt like were much more productive than doing these pre-listing presentations. So I quit doing them because of time. Now the flip side is, is that I don't really feel like my clients really cared about the pre-listing presentation as much as they cared about me, how they felt around me. Did I make them feel comfortable? Um, did they feel like I was gonna be honest and work hard and answer my phone and do everything I could do to help them accomplish what they wanted to accomplish? 
that's what they really cared about over some marketing presentation that they know in their mind that everybody gets. So I quit doing the pre-listing presentation for two reasons. One, it was taking up too much time, and two, I don't feel like my clients really cared about it as much as they cared about who I was as an agent, as a person, and how I was actually gonna help them with their specific situation. You can make a package and you can have all this generic information in there, but they wanna know how you can specifically help them with their specific situation. So I quit doing, I started incorporating the time I was spending on pre-listing presentations, on prospecting for new clients, following up with old clients, and just manifesting business and just, you know, keeping the ball rolling, growing that snowball, developing my database, going deeper with my relationships. I felt like those were far more important than the pre-listing presentations. Now, what if I go up against an agent who does the pre-listing presentation? How is that gonna make me look? Is he gonna look more professional? Is he gonna win the client over? Well, he might, maybe. You're not gonna win them all. You're gonna lose deals here and there. It's part of the game. But here's my thoughts to the seller on that situation is, is Mr. Seller, do you want Mr. Pre-listing Package Guy who's gonna go back to the office, spend a lot of time creating new pre-listing packages, sending them out to clients, or do you want Mr. Phone Call Guy who's gonna go back to the office and immediately start making phone calls to try to sell your property? I take a lot of pride in the fact that I'm one of the only agents that I know that actually makes calls and tries to make stuff happen, try to initiate contact. And I wanna use that to my advantage when I'm talking to the sellers against other agents. So I hope this helps you make a decision whether you need to use a pre-listing presentation or you don't need to use a pre-listing presentation. Don't forget about the live training session Thursday, 4 p.m. Central. I'm gonna go through my entire listing presentation when I do show up to meet the seller. I'm really looking forward to that and all you guys' questions. Also, I wanna give away three list of last books, three signed copies of Zero to Diamond. I'm gonna do that too. Six people, three for list of last, three for zero to diamond. All you have to do is like this video and comment below what your thoughts are on the pre-listing presentation. And let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever. I'll talk to you guys soon.